Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is Free Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and I just thought it would be fun to play just a little bit more with Rigid Body Simulations in Cinema 4D 2024. So you can see what I did here looks quite like fun to me at least. So I think we should just dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun together. Just be sure that as always the full lesson will be on my Patreon where I just uploaded 30 minutes of full training for the whole lesson. But here on YouTube I also want to just give you a quick version of it. So I would say let's just dive into a new scene and have some fun. Alright I just cleaned this up a little bit and let's just keep this one really short and precise. Okay so I just put a plane into my scene and maybe you also want to start with a figure just to compare your elements to some human figure in scaling all right now let's just start with a cube and let's just put this one to 10 by 10 by 10 for example we can also move this one up a little bit so i want to just build a little stone here something like this for example so this could be 4.5 1.5 and 10 or let's just put this one to 1 something like this one okay that seems to be good i can get rid of the figure here and now you just want to put the cube into a cloner to get a grid of clones now just go into the cloner and what i like to do is to put this one to an end point and just move it over there and there to just define the size of my grid for example something like this one and now i just want to fill this one up all right so you could do it like this one just put this one to 90 for example and you can see they are going through the floor and we know that our stones are 10 centimeters in height so i would say you just put this one to five and then you your stones will be perfectly on the floor but for simulations you don't want to have them perfectly on the floor but maybe you just want to move them up like 0.1 for example now just go into the cloner go to rigid body put a rigid body tag on it go to the floor go onto it and set this one to a collider all right na to get rid of the lines and now you would probably have your first simulation let's play this one and you can see you get some funny results i mean this is pretty funny okay but I think the problem is that you have your objects too close to the floor regarding this thickness of your objects here. All right, so this is like a margin around your objects. So probably when I put this one to 0 0.1, then this one will be better. Let's just see. Okay, now we have a stable simulation. This is fine. And for example, now you could put the sphere into your scene. Let's make this one smaller. Let's move it over there. Let's also increase the floor. Let's just center this one a little bit better. Let's move the sphere up there. Something like this. I mean, you could make the sphere a bit more dense and a little bit smaller. Maybe put this one to 10. All right, something like that. And now you could also click on the sphere, put this one to a rigid body object and give this one like a custom velocity into this direction. Therefore, just go to dynamics, activate custom initial velocity. All right. Now you will see like a yellow vector going away from your sphere. This one is going definitely in the wrong direction. So put this one to zero and put this one to minus one. Now this is aiming towards your army of domino stones. All right, with a speed of 1000. All right, and this is also kind of funny. So you can see that the stone is definitely hitting our objects, but there seems to be some little problems. So it feels like the stone is just not heavy enough. Therefore, just go into the mass parameter here and just put this one to 50, for example. Let's see this once again, what you get here. And now this is already looking way better and you are up to a good start, okay? All right, and I just recognize that this tutorial is a little bit short, so I will just show you another idea what you could do here. So for example, we could build like a little row of domino stones here, and then we just trigger the first one and all of them will fall. Therefore, you could just draw a spline like this one, for example. Let's do it like that. Let's see this one from the top. I mean, you can barely see it because it is intersecting with our plane here. So I can just move this one up one. Now you can see the spline better. Go into the spline, set this one to a B spline. Now we have this object where we can clone our stones onto. So let's just do that. Go into it, set this one to object, put this one to spline. Now you can see they will be aligned with the spline just set this one to even spacing between the stones now you can set this one for example to 120 all right i kind of like this one let's just go to the spline and move this one up so it will stand on the floor something like this one and now you could just trigger this object once again with the sphere but i think 
therefore we just want to turn this one into a collider object. All right, we don't want to push it in the scene, but we want to just animate this one with a keyframe. So let's move it over there. All right, let's just go back to zero and let's set some position keyframes. Now I just want to jump to frame 10 and I will just do something like this one to trigger this stone here. And hopefully now when we want to see it from here, then hopefully it just will be triggered and all of them will fall to the floor. All right, and there you go. There you have your falling domino stones. So this was just a little bonus idea for you, all right? So these are the basics of this simulation, for example. You can see that I just made mine a little bit more interesting by giving it some beautiful height variation and a different angle of my spheres and just make this one look really beautiful. But as I said, the full training will be as always on my Patreon. But I still hope that you learned something simple here about Ritty Body Dynamics in Cinema 4D 2024. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time. Bye, everyone.